So boys, we have some uh, positive news from Hong Kong. We have a new narrative for Bitcoin Hong Kong. Green light spot Bitcoin and Ethereum ETF as crypto market bounces. That's the reason why Bitcoin actually recovered yesterday quite well since I made my last update. We are trading around 66.8k as you can see right here. I think the announcement of the Hong Kong Bitcoin ETF was somewhere right here on 65, 64k. Right now Bitcoin is trading at 66k and yeah. In today's video guys I will give you my next price target, show you all of my trades that I'm currently running, my overall game plan for Bitcoin, what I'm expecting over the next few days. And yeah, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also to not miss all of my trades, I, already, I always announce them first of all in my Telegram channel, link is down below in the description. So guys, first of all, um, like I said, Bitcoin recovered quite well from, from our support zone around $61,500 yesterday. As you can see right here, we had a bounce into this support range, 61.5K. And then we recovered quite well. Right now, Bitcoin is sitting around 66K. And overall, we can also see that altcoins like, for example, Solana are also recovering quite well. Look at this. Solana bounced. Look at this shit, bro. Solana bounced to like $118 real quick and now, right now it's already up at $150. So I see a lot of people are saying right now, right? Of course, I'm always looking what like I always try to understand what people are talking about it, uh, are talking about right now in the crypto market and everyone's already very bullish again. Why? First of all, we had a perfect bounce from the support zone, right? And the second thing, the Bitcoin ETF announcement in Hong Kong. So that's the reason why Bitcoin is recovering like that. And I see already a lot of people are bullish and taking already big, big long positions. So the question is, the big question is right now, will Bitcoin actually recover from here? And we, will we just go up in a V-shaped type of recovery all the way up to $75,000, $80,000? Or are we getting rejected right here back again to $55,000 or $60,000, right? That's the big question. So first of all, to give you my, like what, what I'm doing right now, I am currently short on Bitcoin. So yesterday I closed, when I made my last video yesterday, guys, I closed my trade for about 44K in profits on Bitcoin. And right now I opened a small short position again. I, I posted it right here on Twitter. Make sure to follow me, guys. Saya Crypto, this account right here. So I posted this trade that I opened with only 250K size. As you can see, 250k size, my entry price around 60, sorry, $66,250. And that's basically the trade that I'm running right now. And then also have another one right here um, on weeks that I'm currently running. This is only a very small position, guys. And I'm I will explain to you why in a minute. But this trade right now is running about $135 in unrealized losses. So basically the game plan is, wait hey guys, if you also want to trade on the same exchange as me, I'm trading on weeks at the moment, go below this video, click on this link and then make sure to create a new account. It takes only 15 seconds, no KYC, you don't need VPN, you can trade from the US, from anywhere around the world. And on top of that, from, for everyone who comes from my community, you can claim up to $20,300 in deposit bonuses. You can, like you, can, you can get all these informations right here on the website after you created a new account. So make sure to check it out. Like I said, link is down below in the description. So basically the game plan is very simple, guys. I opened a small short position right here around 66.7K. My stop loss would be somewhere around 70K to about 72K. It really depends how the market will actually move over the next few hours. But I will keep you updated on my Telegram channel about my trade. So basically, I only sized in around 25%, all right? The reason why is, the reason is very simple. If we look on the four hour time frame right now, guys, right? If you look on the four hour time frame, we can see right now we are heading into resistance exactly right here, around $68,000. What do I mean by resistance, guys? I'm not talking about some random lines or something. I'm talking about actual people who bought Bitcoin right here into this breakout around 70K. And what could actually happen right now is that we will see right here a retest of this resistance zone and then a potential rejection. So, so let me draw it for you real quick. So this could actually look something like that, for example. Right, let's say we get a rejection on 68K and then we could go down for another retest to 60K. Obviously, it must not happen like 
Once again, I don't have a crystal ball or something like that, but that's the game plan right now. So I'm basically shorting into this resistance right here of all these back holders who bought into this breakout, right? And I'm looking for a break below this level around 65k again, and then again to about 60k. That is the game plan right now that I'm running with my current short position right here. I'm not gonna lie, guys. The only thing that makes me a bit bullish right now I, I'm not running a long position right now because I think it doesn't make sense. But the only thing that makes me a bit bullish is, uh, are the funding rates right now, guys. So let me show you real quick. So the funding rates, as you can see on the daily time frame, we have the daily time frame funding rate. This is for the first time, look at this. For the first time, funding rates are actually read on the daily time frame. And usually, usually, Right? If we go back on the daily time frame and if, if the funding rate is going red, that's usually a sign of a potential bottom. Like for example right here, funding rate red, right? funding rate negative, and then the market usually bounces right here and we, are, we started actually this bull market. Another ca case, another scenario is, right? another, another ar argument basically right now that it doesn't make sense to so look at the funding rate is, you can see when Bitcoin starts actually a correction like in November 2021, when we've when we been at this previous all-time high right here, we also had negative funding rates throughout the bear market, right? So basically, it actually, you can see it from two different perspectives, but that's the only thing, right? like if you, I'm saying it once again, guys, very important. If you actually want to take a long position right now, please, you can go for it. Only because I take a short position right now, don't listen to me. Right? I'm just say, telling you guys what I'm doing with my money. Once again, please, if you want to take a long position, if you want to be exposed to the market, go for it. I'm just telling you guys, I personally believe it doesn't make sense right now to, to run a long position, right? Because I'm expecting before or after the halving, it's very hard to say, obviously, but before or after the halving, halving is, by the way, in about four days and five hours, approximately, but I'm expecting a potential pullback right here, all right? A potential pullback before or after the halving right here, guys, because the market usually always pulls back, right? And my price target is still the same. My price target is still the same below 60K, all right? This is right here, this range, guys. This is where we have a lot of stop losses and a lot of liquidity. Because imagine once Bitcoin drops below 62, 60K, how many people start to panic? What is going on? Why the fuck is Bitcoin going down? I think, I thought the Bitcoin bull market starts right now, blah, 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 blah. And this is where I want to buy and look for a long position. If we get this drop right now before the halving, I will go into a, most likely into a long position right here. If we get this pullback after the halving, I will still get into a, most likely into a long position below 60k, right? The risk is obviously right now that I'm missing a potential long position right now, just in case if Bitcoin just goes up from here to like 80, 100k. But I'm cool with that, you know, like because I'm still exposed in the market heavy with my spot positions, right? And my game plan is to scale out all of my long positions between 80 to 100K. Right here, this is where I wanna get out completely of the crypto market and just basically sell everything. So that's the game plan for right now. If we talk about liquidations, guys, I mean, look at this. We had around seven to $800 million, sorry, $1.6 billion of liquidations in two days with a 10% drop. Imagine what could actually happen, right? if we actually get a 30% pullback or something. Imagine how many people are currently, this shows how many people are currently all in in the crypto markets, right? On a 10-15% pullback on Bitcoin, we have around $1.6 billion of liquidations. So just in case, right? If we get this drop right here, below 60K again, we could actually see around two to $3 billion of liquidations once we get to these levels. And this is why I'm looking at these levels and I want to take advantage of all these people who, are, who have currently their stop losses below 60K, right? And this is currently the game plan and this is why I'm running my short position right now. Because like I said, once we break these levels, I'm definitely expecting way, way, way more liquidations, guys.
This chart right here is also something I'm looking at right now. This would be, in my opinion, the absolute worst case scenario, right? I don't want to make panic and I don't want to say this will play out 100%. But as you can see, this is the 200 SMA line right now that we are looking at. And we just broke it for the first time, right? And as you can see, the last time we, when we actually reclaimed the SMA line, we had a big breakout right here. So right now, we are not able to reclaim it. This is, in my opinion, the absolute worst case scenario. Why? Because we just broke this trend line right here for the first time. We've, we formed this trend line in uh, around 40k, sorry, and we created basically this big gap right here in the market. So this is why I think the ver absolute worst case scenario on the daily time frame would be a potential drop below 60k and a big liquidation event after the halving all the way down to around 40k. But you cannot predict stuff like that, right? I want to focus on uh, today, on right now, and then based on the ho how, how the market will work, uh, how the market will move over the next few days, I will make my decisions. So like I said, guys, I'm currently short on Bitcoin only with, like I said, 25% size. I will keep you updated in my Telegram channel once I up my short position. Once again, join the free Telegram channel. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram also, SayaDXB. And yeah, man, like if you want to trade, check the first link down below in the description, guys. With that being said, I'm out and see you guys. Peace.